Kadar is my boyfriend. This is Steve. Steve is running back to his girlfriend's house, having accidentally left his suitcases at her place after finding out she's seeing someone else and then running away. She is not at home. She is here, about to have sushi with her boyfriend. I don't think I've ever been so nervous in all my life. And his parents. What if they hate you? What if you hate them? What if I can't find something in this menu I can actually eat? I'm sure it'll be fine. There's an awful lot of seafood on your menu. Yes, sir. I'm not good with fish. Do you have anything that's not fish? I'm afraid that's our whole menu. This is a sushi restaurant. It's raw fish. Raw? As in not cooked? You're taking the piss? You Japanese? Then how can you be working in a Japanese restaurant? <laughs> Michelle. Michelle. But Michelle was lost in thought. She was thinking about Steve. She was also thinking about her flatmate, Penelope, who's always had the best advice in times like these. If I were you, I'd wear your hair down. Much more slimming. And if I were you, I'd get the teriyaki chicken and miso soup. And if I were you, I'd drink some water. You look terribly dehydrated. What the life crisis can help him out with? Penelope, I think I still love Steve. What should I do? If I were you, I'd follow your heart. Who were you talking to? Will you excuse me? That's quite an arm you've got. Thanks. So where are you from? America. Whereabouts? Minnesota? Heard of it. Do you know where it is? Somewhere in the middle? Oh, that's a pretty safe bet. Where are you from? Cockbusters. Uh, could, could you say that again, please? Cockbusters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One more time? Cockbusters. Where, where is that? Is, is that in England? Yeah. You don't seem very English. And how do English people seem? Oh, I had the most dreadfully frightful morning. I was walking briskly down the street. You know, I always think it's better to walk briskly. I hate these children that meander. And I was pondering whether to have fish and chips for lunch, but I suddenly realised I'd had fish and chips for breakfast. I would probably be having it for dinner as well. So I just had a Guinness instead. Give me a crumpet. Yeah, but Guinness isn't English, it's Irish. You say tomato, I say tomato. Actually, you say tomato, I say tomato. So whose door are you panning on? It's just a friend's. I've got my stuff inside, but no one seems to be at home. And I really need stuff. We could break in. <laughs> you want to? It would be an adventure. And if there's one thing Steve liked, it was girls with a sense of adventure. 